producer of firearms in the United States, bar none. He produces all these different varieties. You got single shot pistol, target, target pistol, multi shot pistols, undercock pistols, revolvers. Now, revolvers, he sells a lot of them, and he also sells rifles and carbines and such. So, uh, all those are popular items for him. Now, out here, there's, for example, Mr. Beekart. He's the gunsmith right over there. He come out here and he used a lot of foresight. When he came out here, he said, I know what those people want. They want guns. That's why I'm going out there. So he went and he bought about 50 of these Allen revolvers, you know, different types. Probably paid between $10 and $11, maybe $12. He brought them out here and he bought 50 of those old Colt pistols that they made at that Patterson plant before they went out of, before they went out of business, see? And he probably paid $25, $28 a piece for those. He brought these out here and he sold all 50 of them in, in sharp order. You know what he sold them for? $80 to $100. And them Colt pistols he sold for upwards of $150 a piece. So, Are those uh, what term the pepper box? They begin to call them that. They begin to call them that. They're revolvers, of course. And the Patterson was the one well, the Colt the Colt. The Colt Company was located in Patterson, New Jersey. So all the guns that were made in Patterson are referred to in that way. And you're right, they were, uh, the triggers pop down like this one does, you know, to use it. Oh, I've shot, shot a few of them. I mean, I don't have a real reason to, you know. They're all self-defense weapons. I try not to put myself in that condition. I have to rely on it. And that thought came us three generations. All right, we're in Beckert's Gun Shop in Coloma, California, and this is the building that Jules Francois Beckert built. Um, he came here, he came across the Isthmus of Panama in 1849, arrived in San Francisco on April 1st of 1849 with 400 pistols to sell. He was a gunsmith and he plied his gunsmithing trade out here, did quite well with it, sold the pistols and made, uh, made a fair amount of money. He also was a gold miner at a part time and uh, he was a veteran of the Mexican-American War which occurred in 1846 to 1848. Upon discharge from the Army, he immediately heard of the gold being discovered in California. He went back to New York to visit his parents and his girlfriend, and then he immediately turned around and came out here as a pioneer. Um, he, uh, as a veteran, he served with the um, Veterans Association out here, and we just recently acquired two medals uh, that he has. And in fact, we have a picture of him here with wearing those two medals. And we also acquired the gold pouch that uh, he had when he was out here in California. That's down there in the case. And then also we have a picture of him that was taken on his wedding day in 1851. And these are all recently acquired uh, additions to our uh, artifacts collection here in Coloma, here at the Marshall Gold Discovery State Historic Park. His parents and his girlfriend, and he turned right around 